all for one and one for all. Hey everyone, welcome to the ranking. Here's my ranking of the Musketeers movies. Yes, I love the Three Musketeers. I've watched the Three Musketeers ever since I've been a kid, and there's been a bajillion movies of the Musketeers movies. There's been so many. There's been cartoons, old movies, new movies. There's been a shit ton of movies about the Three Musketeers, and I thought I'd do a ranking of them. And just like my ranking of the Cinderella movies and Sam Raimi's movies, this is all a subjective list and a very confusing list, because because there's some Musketeer movies that a lot of people haven't seen, and some are, again, straight-to-DVD kind of movies, and I'm not going to count them. I'm only going to count the big Musketeer movies, the movies that most people have seen. So, those are the movies I'm counting. There's nine Musketeers movies on this list, and I thought I'd just rank them all out from my least favorite to my favorite. So, yeah, let's get started. Here's my ranking of the Musketeer movies from my least favorite to my favorite. Alright, coming at number nine is The Musketeer. Yes, The Musketeer came out in 2001, and honestly, I think this movie is a horrendous pile of shit. This movie is absolutely god-awful. It's about one musketeer. It's not the musketeers. It's a musketeer. And, yeah, the story of this movie is so sloppily executed and so horribly directed. The acting is beyond cheesy and beyond awful. The writing is terrible. It doesn't feel like that squash-buckling fun action adventure that is the Musketeers. This movie just sucks the fun out of it. This movie is cheesy, corny, annoying, horribly executed, and just a terrible, terrible movie. The Musketeer is hands down the worst Musketeers movie. Coming number 8 is the 2011 The Three Musketeers. Yes, this movie is directed by Paul W.S. Anderson. Should I say more? Yes, I should. This movie is absolutely fucking horrible. I hated this movie. I was so highly anticipating this movie in 2011 because I love The Three Musketeers, and I'm like, that's so cool. I love this cast. It's got Logan Learman in it. It's got Orlando Bloom. Cool. It's got Christoph Waltz. Like, there's some pretty good actors in this movie, and this movie was terrible. I found out first, though, when I before I saw the movie, I'm like, Paul W.S. Anderson? Who's Paul W.S. Anderson? Oh, no. Yes. Yes, this movie is fucking terrible. The action is so terrible. It's like this flashy, slow-motion action, like in every Paul W.S. Anderson movie. It's got Mila, Mila Jovovich in this movie, of course, because she's his wife and stuff. She's awful. Logan Lerman's awful. Luke Evans, Ray Stevenson, Orlando Bloom, Christoph Waltz. Everyone is awful in this movie. The bad guys in this movie are so over the top. They're like, oh, yes, <laughs> let's, let's do this. We'll never be able to defeat our plan. <laughs> it's so cheesy and over the top, and the action isn't good. It's so, like, it's this flashy, in-your-face action, and there's a lot of shaky cam, and a lot of slow-mo, and it's completely annoying. I hated this movie. This didn't feel like the characters in The Three Musketeers. The characters were so horribly acted and horribly written. The direction was terrible. Paul Zabias Anderson never should have touched something, something that is so pure and cool and awesome like the Three Musketeers, but he did and he made an awful movie. Come number seven is Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, the Three Musketeers. <laughs> I'm going to go through this quickly because I know a lot of people won't be able to take me seriously, but yeah, I saw this movie when I was younger, and it's not that good. I love Mickey Mouse movies. Like, I even love uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. I actually enjoyed that movie. It's a pretty good movie. I'm not a fan of this movie. It's uh, I don't think the animation's anything spectacular. This movie is strictly for kids. Like, if you want to show your kid this movie, your kid will have fun with this movie, but I didn't. It just didn't feel like the Musketeers. It's Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. I love Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. I love Looney Tooney Tunes and Mickey Mouse and all the classic cartoons. I love all these characters. They're great. Just, it's not Musketeers to me. It's just a very cheesy, ch cheesy kids movie, and that's what it is. It's for kids, not adults, and especially, for, especially not for Musketeers fans like myself. Coming number six is The Man with the Iron Mask. Yes, some people might not uh, agree that this is a Musketeers movie, but it has the Musketeers in it. So it has the three Musketeers, it has Athos, Porthos, Armis, and D'Artagnan all in the movie. Yeah, just because they're not the lead characters doesn't mean it's not a Musketeers movie. This is based off a book written by Alexander Dumas, the writer of Musketeers. So 
this does count, I think, as a Musketeers movie, because they're all in it, and they're great. I actually do enjoy this movie. This movie is about a king who has a twin brother the throne and takes the king out. Very much bad brother takes the throne off good brother. Good brother wears mask, and the Musketeers all come to help him and take the throne back and stuff. I enjoy this movie. It's it's a bit dated, and it's a little corny, I guess, but I really like this movie. I think Leonardo DiCaprio is great in this movie. I love the Musketeers. You got, like, John Malkovich and them. They're all great in this movie. It's a great action movie. It's a great adventure movie. The costumes look great. The production looks great. It's just an all-around fun movie. Some people don't even count it as a Musketeers movie, but I do, and it's a great one. Coming to number five is The Three Musketeers from 1921. This has Douglas Fairbanks in this movie, and again, this is a great movie. Uh, again, if you're not into, like, old school or silent films and stuff, you're not going to like this movie. I do enjoy it. I actually, I understand where, like, you know in the movie The Artist? It almost satires the old school Musketeers movies in that movie. It's kind of satirizing the Douglas Fairbanks Musketeers movie. So, after I saw The Artist, I actually watched this movie, uh, like, a couple months later, and I'm like, oh, so that's what this movie was satiring. That's kind of clever. But I like this movie. Douglas Fairbanks is a great actor. Again, if you're not into the old-school black-and-white silent film era, you're not a fan of this movie, but I am, and I actually had a lot of fun with this movie. This movie is a lot of fun. It's got a great swashbuckling action adventure, like a typical Musketeers movie. And it's a lot of fun. That's all I gotta say. It's a lot of fun. I love classic cinema, and this is a great classic, great classic cinema Musketeers movie. Coming in number four is The Four Musketeers. Yes, this was in 1974. Yes, The Four Musketeers at my number four in 1974. <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, this is a very good movie. This is a sequel to the better 1973 Musketeers movie. This is The Four Musketeers because D'Artagnan is now a part of The Musketeers. And yes, and my lady's back. Yes, Faye Donaway in, is in this movie and she's the villain. I love Faye Donaway in this movie. She is so good. She, I think she steals the movie. You know, I love like Oliver Reed and Michael Young. York and Charlton Heston, they're all great, but I love Faye Dunaway in this movie. She steals the movie, and it's a great sequel to The Predecessor, because The Predecessor is an amazing movie, but this movie is still very well directed, very well written, the performances are all great, there's a lot of good comedy, because that was, that's, that was a big thing in the Musketeers movie. They were great action and adventure movies, but they are also very, very funny. In this movie, it balances the action, adventure, comedy part very well. There's also a bit of a tragedy, you know, with Oliver Reed's character, and Faye Donnelly's character, it's a very good story. I do enjoy this movie, it's a sequel to a better movie, but still, itself, is a good movie. Coming Number three is The Three Musketeers from 1948. Yes, this had Gene Kelly actually in the movie. Yes, Gene Kelly, the master of musicals like, you know, An American in Paris, uh, Singing in the Rain, stuff. I love Gene Kelly. He's fantastic in this movie. He actually makes this movie amazing. He is amazing as D'Artagnan. He's awesome in this movie. The entire cast is great. It's got the action, adventure. I love how stylistic this movie is. It's a lot of fun. This movie actually is like watching The Adventures of Robin Hood with Errol Flynn. This movie is like the Musketeers version of Robin Hood with Errol Flynn. That's why I love this movie. It is just so much fun. There's actually quite a bit of problems with this movie. I can actually nitpick the shit out of this movie, but I don't care because this movie is just so much fun. Coming number two is The Three Musketeers from 1993. Yes, this is, I guess, sort of recent. Actually, every time I talk to people my age and I say, did you watch The Three Musketeers when you were younger? Most of them say no, but the people but the people that do say yes, everyone says they grew up with the 1993 Three Musketeers movie. This movie has Kiefer Sutherland, Charlie Sheen, Tim Curry, Chris O'Donnell, Julie Delpy, and yeah, all those actors, and this is the one they grew up with, and honestly, this is the one I grew up with, too. This is my number one. I really enjoy this movie. This is actually a live-action Disney movie, and... I actually do enjoy it. Yes, there is some problems with this movie, but I really like this movie. Not only does it have the nostalgia for me, but I just have a lot of fun with this movie because that's what the Three Musketeers are. They're not perfect movies. They're just, like I said, squash buckling, action adventure, fun movies. And this movie is so much fun. I love the, the sequences, the fencing, the, the gunplay, the running, the chasing, the ch saving of the king and all that stuff. It's all great and it's all so much fun. I love The Three Musketeers, uh, Kiefer, Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland, Oliver Platt, Charlie Sheen, Chris O'Donnell, all fantastic in this movie. I love that they got Julie Delpy to play Constance. She's so good. I love Tim Curry as the Cardinal. He's so great. Anytime you get Tim Curry playing a villain, that's just great casting right there. He's so good in this movie. I love everything. 
everyone in this movie. I love the story. I love how they made a different take of the Three Musketeers. I thought this movie would be really similar to the 1973 Three Musketeers movie, but the movie is different, actually. It's similar, but very different. They do a lot of character traits different. The story is very different. And, again, I love that how it's different. It could be the same, but different. That's how you do a proper remake. See, the 2011 Three Musketeers movie basically ripped off the 1973 version movie, so I didn't like that. But this movie was, this movie was different. It played homages to the 1973, but it's still its own movie, and it's a lot of fun. It's great for kids, and it's great for fans of the Three Musketeers movie, and that's why I I love it so much. And my number one favorite Three Musketeers movie is the 1973 Three Musketeers movie. This and the 1993 version are the two Musketeer movies I grew up with. I grew up with these Musketeer movies, the 90s and the 70s, and I loved this movie the most, and I still to this day love this movie the most. I think this is the best Musketeers movie. I love it. Again, I love Oliver Reed, Faye Donaway, Charlton Heston, Michael York is fantastic as a D'Artagnan. Yes, every time I mention Michael York, I just think of Basil Exposition or Logan from Logan's Run, but this movie's great, the casting's great, the action is great, the costumes, production, even the score. I love the score in this movie, and I think this is actually the funniest in Three Musketeers movie. This movie is so freaking funny. The slapstick in this movie is so comical. It's so freaking funny. I laugh a lot in this movie, and I'm excited, and I'm entertained by this movie. Everything about this movie is just done right. This is the Three Musketeers done perfectly. Is it a perfect movie? Oh, hell no. It's not. It's not even close. But it's a perfect Musketeers movie, and that is why it's my favorite Three Musketeers movie. So yeah, that was my ranking of the Musketeers movies, from my least favorite to my favorite. So yeah, in the comment section below, please tell me what is your ranking of all the Musketeers movies, from your least favorite to your favorite. Comment below, let me know. And as always, like this video, please like, subscribe to this channel, and join the dark side.